Making your own oil paint is extremely satisfying and the procedure is rather simple. It can not only be cheaper than ready-made oil paints, but along the way you're making a connection with the material you're working with even before painting. It's a bit like preparing your own food, only that you should not eat paint, right? So in this video I'm going to show you how I do it. Hi, this is Gergely Bukovinsky with another art video made for sharing. So, there are multiple ways of doing this, but personally I like simple things and my own paint is no exclusion. Today I'm making Paris Blue paint. To make this we need the following things. Pigments of a chosen colour, a couple of palette knives or a tool similar to these to pick up and spread the paint, a carrier for pigments such as linseed oil, alkyd or else depending on your preference. I'm using cold press linseed oil. An empty paint tube or a small jar and a smooth surface such as a piece of glass. Now there is another thing that comes handy when mixing pigments and oil together and that is a paint muller. First, I place the pigment on a smooth surface, then create a pocket in the pile of the pigment. Into that, I add cold pressed linseed oil, just enough to fill up the hole. Then I gently begin to mix them together, keeping the consistency of the paint to the desired level. It's very easy to add too much oil, so I pay attention to always add oil in small amounts and mix it thoroughly before adding more oil. It's essential to make the paint as smooth and creamy as possible, any small lumps must be evened out. For that I use a glass muller, moving it back and forth, drawing imaginary infinite signs for best results. It's also worth noting that consistency can vary between different types of pigments and the amount of oil needed. Now if you only want to try this out and don't feel like investing too much money, you can use the bottom of a glass or cup or jar, basically any glass or ceramic item that has a smooth surface and can be moved around to break up particles and even out consistency within the structure of the pigment. Or you can use even your palette knife or spatula to do that, although it might take you a bit longer. When the paint is ready, I usually just put it back into the jar the pigment came in or if it's not in a jar, I use a tube. I put the paint in a small plastic bag near it into one of these corners, cut the end of the corner and start slowly squeezing out the paint into the tube. When done I scrape out some of the paint from the bag and close the tube by folding up the open end using scissors and sealing it with pliers. It's possible to make your own pigments as well but it's an entirely different topic and I will have to make another video for that to demonstrate it. Although I use ready-made paint most of the time these days, I've been making my own, preparing my own paint for many years um, and I have some really old paint that I've, I've been storing um, in these tiny jars in which the pigment came originally. And I thought it would be a great idea to open them up and uh, at least one of them and uh, have a look how the paint looks. I assume the oil and the pigment has separated over the years, um, but let's see if they are useful or not. Um, I'm really curious and I've, I've 
dug them up from my um, storage um, just to show them on this video. Look at them. Look at this, how it looks, how dirty <laughs> and all this is. You, like, you can't even read some of the labeling. Um, right, so this is raw burnt sienna and uh, I've got one here. Look at that. This is really old as well. Um, so this is permanent yellow light and I'm looking for the, the release date, the manufacturing date. There you go. Um, so this is 2007, August. It says right here. So it must have been no later than 2010 when I purchased this. Um, which is eight years ago. So let's see how it looks. And I have ultramarine blue um, deep, I assume, but again, who knows? I, I haven't got labeling, uh, so let's open it up. <sighs> no, I can't, I can't open it by hand. Okay, let's move on. Um, permanent yellow light and there you go um, looks pretty neat actually it looks pretty good a little bit of oil on the top um, but it's still useful look at that looks almost perfect so this is about eight years old. So yellow paint is pretty good. Let's open up burnt sienna if I can. <laughs> there you go. Now this one, this one has separated um, the oil and pigment. Um, I've got some oil running on top. But I think can be mixed. So the point I'm trying to make is that you don't need to buy um, even a pellet knife, uh, cheap or glass mullet to prepare your own paint. You can do without. It's good to have them, but if you can't or you don't want to uh, invest, then uh, really you can do without. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please do not forget to like and subscribe, leave comments, and please check out my other videos. And see you next time. Bye.